write about George Washington. Why not? Because he ain't the greatest man in history. That's why not. You got him. Why don't you take somebody else, George? Because Mr. Newcomb says you got to write about the man Yanish Tagash figure is the greatest man. And there ain't but one wild bear hiccup. And you swiped him. I got half an ocean to... Poncho? This is Poncho Garcia, Jody. Used to ride for my pa. Yes, sir? Have you got a room? My ma's up to the meeting of the schoolhouse tonight. I cannot wait, Muchacho. You must have a room. Andale. Yes, sir. This way, mister. I'll have Ma come up with the register when she gets home from the meeting tonight. Dollar fifty night bed and breakfast, two fifty with meals. I'll get you some water and a couple of fresh towels, and if there's anything else you want, just... What happened? You've been shot? I don't know where the dock is. Go. Quick, quick. Get... I'll find somebody. Be right back. Get a priest. George! He was shot! Go up, get him some water. I gotta find somebody. What's the matter? A man just come in. He's been shot. I can't find the dock. You better come. Shot? Yes, sir. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, perdona. Afraid the dock couldn't get much more than we can. You mean he... Shh. Get his shirt open. Santa Maria, Santa Maria. Padre. Padre. Padre, hear my confession. Padre. Forgive me, Padre, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm not a priest. There isn't a priest in town. I have done a terrible thing. Forgive me. Forgive me for this thing I do. Grant me absolution. Hear my confession. Hear my, conf my confession. I'm sorry. There isn't anything I can do for you. Hear me, Padre. Hear me. Forgive me. Uh, what do you want? He wants to talk to me. Hello. Go on out. All right. I'm ready. Look. There. Blood money. A hundred dollars. Blood money. For this I kill a man. For this money I, I kill Jack McGrath. I lay in wait for him. I kill him with a rifle for a hundred dollars. You don't want to tell me this. Forgive me, Padre. I do not want to do this thing. But the man who asked me, he's a big man, a very important man. I'm only Pancho Garcia. I cannot say no to such a man. He has a woman in Cheyenne. And this woman in Cheyenne is the beloved of McGrath. And because of this woman, I killed McGrath for him. I cannot say no to him. 
you will do one thing for me, Padre. Return your blood money. Give the hundred dollars back to, to the mayor. As your mayor, I've had three rules of conduct. Integrity, industry, and Christianity. That is my platform and that is my creed. Now, if we want the Great Northern to come to Buckskin, we've got to convince James J. Hill that this entire community operates on those three principles. Integrity, industry, and Christianity. The time for action is upon us. The Great Northern is on the move and we've got to be on the move too. Uh, excuse me, George. I have to get back to the hotel. Perfectly all right, Annie. Now, I'd like to have you take a look at this chart that'll explain what I mean. The Great Northern now has reached this fork. If we can persuade them to take the North Fork up here... Suicide? Well, nearest thing to it. Seems like he wanted to be shot. Been moping around here for three days, trying to prod me into a fight. Fight? What for? How should I know? Something eating him, I guess. Tonight, I couldn't do nothing with him. First thing you know, he was calling me everything under the sun. He said I was cheating him. Jumped up and pulled his gun. That's right, Marshal. I seen the whole thing. Is he dead? Well, I'm sorry I wasn't here tonight. Fine time for the doc to be out of town. He couldn't have helped. He knew it. He wasn't calling for a doctor. He knew he was going to die. He uh, wanted me to give this to, uh, to someone for him. Well, what's the money for? Jody said something about a confession. Yeah. You mean, you, you didn't hear it. I did. You had no right to. I knew I had no right to. But I thought I'd give him whatever little comfort I could. He was in pain. He thought I was a priest. I didn't have the heart to turn my back on him. But you're not even a Catholic, Ben. Somehow that didn't seem to make much difference. It might have, to him. I made it a little easier for him to die. I told him what he wanted to hear. I forgave him. It seemed the right thing to do. How long ago? About five minutes. He had something on his mind. Seems he spent the last three days trying to get someone to shoot him. He say anything to you before he died? Ben? Um, he mumbled around some. He was delirious, I guess. You make any sense out of it? I... I can't say. What'd he say? I, uh, I don't remember. Ben. Good night. What happened up here, Annie? Expect you better ask Ben. to drink these days? Now and then, when I have a problem. You have a problem too. Sorry I couldn't have been at the meeting tonight, George, but I uh, figured I didn't have to be there to write the story. Integrity, industry, Christianity. In the two short years since I have taken office, my friends, I have seen buckskin grow from a place to a town. Ben, I want to talk to you. Today, stand up and cheer, George. Three cheers and a tiger for integrity, industry, and Christianity. 
with James J. Hill and President Hayes in the front row. Glorious sounds, those cheers, George. Ben, a good friend of mine died tonight. You were with him. Indeed I was. Or was he conscious? For a while. Well, did you talk to him? Not much. But he talked to me. He needed someone to talk to. He had a lot to get off his chest. Well, what about? Personal. I killed it. Why? It seemed a shame to come out in print to blame Indians for something they had nothing to do with. They get blamed for enough as it is. Oh, I'll put your mind at ease, George. He was out of his head. He thought I was a priest. He wanted me to hear his confession. Give him absolution. And I let him go ahead. I have never been in a Catholic church in my life, but I let him confess to me. He gave me the whole story. And as a newspaper man, it's my responsibility to print it. Ben. But I'm not going to. I heard his confession. I'm going to keep it a secret inside me where it belongs. So you just continue with your campaign of uh, integrity, industry, and Christianity. Ben, I'd like to talk to you alone for a minute. No mind, George? Ah, uh, go right ahead. I have no secrets. Have I, Mayor? Won't it wait till tomorrow? No, George, it won't wait. Ben, I want to know what, what happened up in that room tonight. I want to know what the Mexican told you. The Mayor just asked me the same question. It's personal. It's also evidence in a murder case. Now, Pancho was talking about McGrath down at the Silver Load tonight, just before it happened. I think maybe he and McGrath... All right, Ben. Let's have it. Sorry, can't help you. Don't lie to me, Ben. Why'd you kill that story? I can't tell you. Why not? Never mind. Ben, I can... I can make you tell me. Have the sheriff subpoena him, put you on the stand. If you won't talk, he can charge you with contempt. That right, George? Well... How about it, man? That's the legal procedure. Well, try to convince him, will you? Go on. Convince me. Have your drink. He told me to give it back to you. in the Magnificent. What'd he do? He walked a tightrope across Niagara Falls. <laughs> you call that being the greatest man in history? Could you do it? Oh, Georgie. George Washington couldn't do it either. I don't see what's so great about George Washington. Well, how about Napoleon? He got whipped. Oh. I could skin Jody O'Connell alive for swiping Wild Bill Hickok. I had him staked out fair and square. First thing you know, Jody's got his composition half finished. We'll find someone else close at hand, then. How about Custer? Huh? Oh, I forgot. He got whipped, too, didn't he? He sure did. Oh, there's your father. Time you were in bed. Come along now. I have to have this finished by tomorrow, Mom. Well, think about it in the morning when you're fresh. I expected you earlier, George. Oh, sorry. I... Got held up after the meeting. How'd it go? Same as usual. Is anything wrong, George? Oh, no. Well, 
Working hard, son? Yeah, he's working on a composition. And I can't find anybody to write about. I tried and tried. Yeah, uh, you'll think of someone. <laughs> I sure hope so. Come along, bedtime. There are some who say that Wild Bill was fooled by a fellow from Texas named John Wesley Harden. They say John Wesley worked the road agent spin on Wild Bill one time in Abilene. This is not true from what Mr. Tumulty tells me, and he heard it from Wild Bill's own lips. Mr. Tumulty says Wild Bill practically invented the road agent spin, and that such talk comes from folks down in Texas who are much given to stretching the truth. Wild Bill was shot in the back, which does not count against you if you're a gunman, but it sometimes kills you, however, which is what it did to Wild Bill. The end. Very good, Jody. George? Yes, sir, just finished. All right, then. Turn in your papers. That's all for today. What did you write about? Secret. Mr. Newcomb? Yes, Jody? Is something wrong? Why? Martha should feel sorry for you. My own doing, I expect. You in trouble? Not exactly. I'm on the horns of a dilemma. Know what that is? Anything like an elk? No. It means you've got a choice of two things to do, and both of them are wrong. So you tell your ma I appreciate her feeling sorry for me. But I'll do my own worrying. It's high time ben. she... Hi, Ma. You run along home, Jody. I want to talk to Ben for a few minutes. Sure. Annie, before you start, I think you should know I've gone over this thing in my mind till I can't think about it anymore. I made a decision. I'm going to stick to it. You can't now. Why not? Because they've just arrested McGrath's partner and charged him with the murder. I wonder if I could talk to the mayor. Of course, he's upstairs. George, it's Ben Newcomb. Won't you sit down, Mr. Newcomb? No, thanks. Well, please excuse the clutter, then. This is my day for chores. You want to see me, Ben? I expected the worst, George. I thought Georgie was failing in spelling or something. It's nothing about school. Alma, perhaps you'd better... No, it's all right. I won't be long. It's about the McGrath murder. Hmm, Tom Sellers getting anywhere? Made an arrest this afternoon. No. <laughs> Who in the world? Alma, will you please keep quiet? Why, George? I'm sorry, dear. Who is it, Ben? Brewer. His partner. I have a new story for that hole on page one, George. You know about how it'll go, don't you? What story? Alma. Kind of an editorial. On integrity, industry, and Christianity. George is an expert on those things. Thought he might be interested. That's about all, George. The paper will be out first thing in the morning. Miss Ellaby. Admit you tangled with McGrath last week. Never said I didn't. And you accused him of cheating. Of stealing money out of the partnership. He was. And you threatened him. You swore you'd cut him in two with a 10-gauge shotgun if he didn't pay up. Uh, I'd been drinking some. Yeah, but you were heard to say it. All right, I, I said it. And you knew Pancho. He'd worked for you on the claim. Yeah. Um, I knew Pancho. Wasn't much of a rocker, man. Had to fire him. You hired him back, though, didn't you? You hired him to dry gulch your partner a week ago Wednesday night. Now get this, Tom Sellers. If I was fixing to kill Jack McGrath, I'd done it myself. Wouldn't hire no poncho to do it for me. Don't lie to me. Tom. He's not lying. He's telling the truth. How do you know? I can tell you. All right, Ben. You can't tell me. And I can't read your mind. So there's only one thing for me to do. Put him on the stage at the county seat first thing in the morning. Hope the sheriff's office can do better. 
You can expect a subpoena any day now. sooner or later. I've got to try to talk to you, Ben. Now, I want to be reasonable. I want you to understand why... why I can't let you do this. And will you try to put yourself in my boots? I don't think I want to be in your boots, George. I'm an important man, Ben. No matter what you think of me personally, I'm an important man in this valley. I've done a lot for Buckskin. It was nothing when I came here. Just a place. Now it's a town. That's true. What has that got to do with McGrath? McGrath was a no-good, lying cheat. And what are you, George? I'm the mayor of this town. I'm a respected man. Can't grind me under your heel, Ben. You can't do it. Ben, I've got $5,000 in the bank. Do you want it? You could use $5,000, Ben. New shop, new press. I can say everything I want to on this one. I can tell my readers what a no-good lying cheat you are, George. I can tell them that and a lot more. I can tell them what they'll find under those rocks with integrity, industry, and Christianity chiseled on them. You're the worst kind of a thief, George. You haven't an honest drop of blood in your body. Why, you're false to your wife and your boy. You're false to your church. Why, you haven't even got the guts to do your own killing. Are you going to kill me too, George? Add another killing to your glory? Keep quiet, Ben. Keep quiet. I won't keep quiet. George, yesterday I gave the children an assignment. I asked them to write a composition on the greatest man in history. Let me read you some of their choices. Jody O'Connell, Wild Bill Hickok. Homer Foley, President Grant. Floyd Worthington, Robert E. Lee. Sissy Wilkes, Abraham Lincoln. George Ellaby. Do you know who George chose? his father. George, there, there isn't much left to save now. But you have one chance left. One chance to do an honest, courageous, Christian thing before you're through. I can. I can. You can. You can stop this masquerading, this cheating, this hypocritical speech making about honor and do something honorable for the first time in your life. Walk down to Tom Sellers and tell him about Pancho. 